I know that look, he's in the zone. To all my haters, you ain't all lie. You talk slick, but you ain't all lie. So what up, y'all? Back again like I never left. And this time we got Easy Mill nods to Nipsey Hussle and YG in emotionally charged freestyle live on the eighth floor. And before we get into it, let me just say this. Salute to the Philippines. Salute to all the Easy Mill fans. This kid's real talented. I've been enjoying this one a lot. Definitely keep, uh, you know, dropping comments and referring other people that y'all think I should react to. But we about to hop right into this. Let's go. Okay, what I love the most is how he how he starts it off, how he jumps in there and he starts singing, you know? He switches it up, he shows his his talent is is even is even further than just lyricism. You know, he's he's jumping in with the melodies, capturing you like, look, I'm not the same. I'm different. <laughs> I'm from a whole nother realm. And that's what I respect. Good booty and yes, she the best. Uh, Y'all can go sue me. I'll try it and it takes her. Uh, I like the baby with six and a chip and a patty. So give me your beat and you'll see what can happen. The flow is precise and you'll see that I'll snap in a second. No bitches who live off a of cap. I don't like conversations. You probably drink whack. Like I'm a bitch booty thicker. Honestly, it's that thick of this mind. It's a man. Okay. When I look into easy face right now, I know that look, he's in the zone. That's when you in the zone. He snapped into that zone very quickly. And I believe with the singing in the beginning, it was like that one, two, three, before a race. You know, before a runner has to run, they need to hear that one, two, three, boom, and they take off and they're in a the zone after that. I feel like his, his entry with the, uh, in the beginning where he started singing was, the, was that one, two, Three and once he started saying, once he after that he just boom and he look at his face and now he's in he's in that zone he's in that zone like if you ever look at that movie um, Souls it's a it's a kids movie it's it's an animation animated movie and it shows how the people who when they're when they're when they're doing something and on Earth right that's got them in a zone it's like their soul goes to this place out in the astral. Where they're just out there in a zone somewhere, somewhere out there in the cosmos, and and that's what I see when I look into his face right now. He's somewhere else. Uh huh. That was kind of shocking for me as to learn that American black people get offended by a word, but don't get it twisted. I ain't like myself with a term, and I felt the pain of fuck a cracker up until he burned it. And roll up. Mmm. 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 See, he's talking. See, see, this is the type of stuff, like, even after I'm done watching, I mean, after I'm done with this reaction, I'm going to go back and I'm going to listen and listen and really peep what he was saying because he the type of person you got to you you gotta go back. You got to run it back. And you got to really catch catch what he was saying, you know, because he be saying a lot of stuff. And um, he be saying a lot of stuff, man. I like this kid's style. Shout out to the Wolves. See, I'm from New York, so shout out to the Wolves. I like that. <laughs> shout out to the Wolves. Let's go. He just kept it real. He just did what a lot of artists ain't going to do. He said, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even know about Nipsey till he passed away. Respect. See, Nipsey, that's, that was one of, my, one, of my, one of my favorite artists. It's just, and as far as like musically with Nip, 
there were certain songs that that I got memories with because I've been banging Nip since I was 16, right? And um, like musically, like that wasn't somebody I'd be like, yo, turn that Nip on, you know? It's just certain songs, but as 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 an art, like as who he was, is where I rock with him as a person. Like I was always, he was always speaking a different type of knowledge. He was always on a different type of level. Like his spirit was different. He wasn't like these ignorant rappers. He had a, he had a purpose. He had intention, and um, I respect. With, with Easy Mill saying, listen, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even really know about him until he passed away. But I, but, uh, that's real. That's genuine. Salute. He not being fake. Okay. Okay, so what I get from Easy Mill is a kid who, like I said, um, from, from what y'all said, from uh, my, my new subscriber, shout out to y'all, is that he moved to, what was it, Las Vegas about five years ago from the Philippines. So what I'm noticing is a kid who he, he's influenced by a lot, you know, but he's not imitating that in a sense. You know, he's trying to figure out the best ways, because we're all influenced by something that makes up our style. I don't see him on there trying to rap like, he's saying shout out to the Wolves, but I don't see him trying to rap like Pop Smoke. He's saying, um, he's saying, he's saying, he's, he's shouting out Nipsey, he's shouting out YG, but I, I, I didn't really hear him trying to rap like them. He still has his own style. He may incorporate certain things into his style that make, that to, to, to create something new, which there's nothing wrong with that, you know, because the problem with a lot of rappers nowadays is they'll always try to say, oh, this person's imitating. There's Im Which there is a lot of imitation, but we're, what, like I said, we're all influenced by something. We're all inspired by something that, um, that, 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 that develops our style. Everybody. I don't care who it was. You know, even, even as far as our way of thinking. That's, what, that's, that's honestly, it's, it's a, it can be a blessing and a curse. A blessing because we evolve that way. You know, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like Goku and Vegeta. How they could merge together, do that dance and merge together and become this more powerful being. But then you got people like Majin Buu who can, you know, um, who can, who can, who can like, what, what was it that he was doing? He could like get your energy and then like become you, right? And he was using that for destruction. So... You got people who will imitate, right? Uh, like say, let's say a pop smoke or something. People who will imitate, take my whole style, and, tr and 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 just don't even have the right intentions behind it. You get what I'm saying? Just really just want attention. Then you got people like Easy Mill who will get influenced by something, you know, and he he'll shout it out. He'll you know it may help develop his style in a, in a way. But he, he has intention behind it, which is to become a better artist and, 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 and to just keep and just keep inspiring, right? All his music that I've listened to, he's talking like he's talking he's talking wisdom. He's speaking wisdom. He's talking about pretty much a lot of revolutionary stuff he says in there. You know, about uh, he talks about the subconscious. He talks about, you know, the subconscious getting programmed the wrong way. He talks about certain things like he's a he's a he's a he's an advanced soul. You know, and then he dances and he does all these things and he's an advanced soul. I, that's one thing I definitely notice about him. And, um, you know, me being, as far as me, right, being uh, what, what they call black American, right? For us, it's hard because, and I, and I see he says something that I'm going to go back and I'm going to really listen to. He says something about racism. He says something and I'm going to go back and really listen to and get the understanding. But me being a black American, this is why I'm respecting the, Fili respecting the Philippines right now, uh, his, his fans, because, like, for me, for artists like, like that that are young, black, and from America, we don't really, we don't get that support unless we got the machine behind us pushing us and we and they just putting us on. You know, those people that come out of nowhere and you'd be like, how did they get there? Yeah, we don't even know, right? No one ever knows, right? But... Or unless you're like really uh, like in the hood doing criminal activity, like that's the only time like they support you as a as an artist. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not cool to be different like, like you would think. It's really not. Um, so when I see Easy Mill, when I see he different, you know, he wears his hair how he wants to wear. He he just, he's him. He could talk about whatever he, like anime or whatever he want to talk about. And his fans are still going to support him from where he's from. That's what I respect. Uh, that's what I respect. Because me being black in America, like, it, it's harder for us to do that. Just off the simple fact that our own people go on, go on always question us. And, oh, well, why you look like that? Why you got your hair like that? Why you, you know, if it's not in a certain box, if it's not in a certain box of ignorance, that's where we at with it in America, as far as far as black rap, black rappers, you know, and that makes it very hard. So shout out to Easy Mill, um, shout out to Easy Mill, you know, and I could tell he's a lot smarter than people would even think. Seriously, I wanted to go in a little more because it was some things that I just peeped as I ran it back that he said. That I peeped before, but I really like. I'm listening, like I really caught it, which is what he said. Um, basically to break it down, he basically said he didn't know as far as Black Americans that they get offended by, by a certain by a t by a certain term, and and um he was confused at first until he enlightened himself and he looked into the history and then he was like, damn, you know, and um, I respect that because a lot of people. Uh, unless it's their culture, there's a lot of people who don't look into things or really care to because they're just, there's people who are just ignorant like that. Uh, as far as, as far as rap music with the term that I'm guessing he's talking about, which we all know, you know, nigga, right? Um, at, at the, at, I've broken this down many times, like, when you really look at where it derives from as far as, um, Negus, N-E-G-U-S, Ethiopian king, you know, or the Nagas, N-A-G-A, which were the serpent people, when these are very ancient words, ancient, ancient, ancient words, ancient, like for real, seriously, uh, and um, it was turned into a derogative term, turned into something negative, because the, the due to the conqueror, the pronunciation, niggas and all this, and that they started to that and it turned into what we know as the N I G G E R, you know, through throughout history. But there's a reason that that catches on around the world and every race you can find every race that let us say that is because subconsciously that's something very, very, very powerful. But I respect the fact that Easy Mills, like, yo, I went and enlightened myself. I didn't understand. And then he understand that part of history. Now, as far as black Americans, me being a black American, right? Um, I don't respect, I don't respect for them to be like, you know, don't say this and don't say that. And then being raps, talking about killing each other. And then saying that, that's just hypocrisy and it makes no sense. So that I don't, they're, they're, when you start dealing with rap and then that word comes up, it's just a lot of confusion and division due to a lot of hypocrisy within rap. Uh, something else, so shout out to Easy Mill for that. The kid's going to go far. Something else I wanted to address is somebody on my channel. <laughs> somebody on my, I seen a comment where, in, in one of uh, my previous reactions to one of his songs, where I basically was saying like there's a lot of lyricism in that specific song, but there I didn't feel like in that song there was you know like many hard he didn't have hard hitting bars in that song. I wasn't trying to downplay him. Um, he's he's phenomenal, and I'm sure he has. I've listened to his other stuff. He has he has hard hitting bars, and I'm sure he has certain songs that where it's just strictly hard hitting bars. I mean the kid does everything. But someone took that and, and, and basically commented and was like, well, you know, more experienced YouTubers or reaction, reaction, YouTube reaction, whatever the word is for it, right? More experienced ones broke it down and maybe you just, look, listen, like when it comes to experience, I felt, I felt that, I thought that was funny because it was like, I don't know who those YouTubers are you're referring to, but I know I've been on a stage before, right? And I, and it's like, 
I know what hard hitting bars are. Like I'm from New York. I'm from the birthplace of rap. Like I've lived many years in the Bronx, right around the corner from 1520 Cedric. If you're watching this video and you don't know what 1520 Cedric is, then you don't even know rap because that's where it started at, where DJ Cool Herc started DJing. Like, so, you know, like, it's no point in commenting on my video like I'm just some random YouTuber that doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, I grew up listening to the Jada Kisses, the Notorious B.I.G.s, the, the, um, just all of them, all of them. Like, they, like everybody, bro. Like, should I, shall I go in right now? Like, everybody. Like, so, I know, like, hard-hitting bars is like, when you want that punching bag and you bang, you going for the body shots and everyone is a body blow, boom. Then there's the then there's lyricism. There's there's the, you know there there's there's the just where you have different flows and you slow it down and it's not so much hard hitting. I felt like on that certain song, or you could speed it up, but it's not so much hard hitting. You just rhyming off words. You killing it. I'm not saying you're not killing it, but there's a difference with hard hitting bars. And I felt like in that specific song. There was more so, it, I didn't, you know, it wasn't more so hard hitting bars. I could still be wrong about that. I'll go back and check it out more and just keep listening. But that that don't mean, that don't mean comment on my YouTube saying stuff like that. Like, oh, well, more experienced, three yards, like, you know, because, okay, right? Shout out to the kid, he's phenomenal. Um, but what I'm not going to do for anybody I react to on this channel, I'm not going to be smacking people, but like I... I don't do that and I feel like I feel like artists get better like say if he was to hear that and be like oh he feel like that song that specific song didn't have hard hitting bars he might be like you know what now I'm gonna show him how better I am you get what I'm saying like that's what motivates people you know so but I I personally enjoy songs that don't always have hard hitting bars sometimes I like to just hear a song where you just speaking or or where the flows a certain way and this is why I feel like Easy Mill is a young goat because um he he has so much different he's so versatile and I can find whatever tune whatever rhythm whatever mood for the day I want to find you know but um don't get offended because I'm not I guess uh Making you feel, I don't know, I don't know. But shout out to Easy Mail, shout out to Easy Mail fans, shout out to the Philippines, I'm out of here. So